right. Welcome to my second gyro tutorial on the Steam Deck. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing off Borderlands 3, and this one's a lot different to set up than Apex Legends. In fact, it's uh, a lot easier because this game supports mixed inputs. So you can do mouse mouse movement along with gamepad movement, no problem. So this is a, an ideal candidate for gyro controls, and I'll show, I'll show you how to set it up. So I'll just grab this config and start from scratch. So first things first, let's hit the Steam button. You're going to start at the top here where it says Borderlands 3. You're going to navigate to the right twice. Down here, you'll see it says Controller Settings. And we're going to go up here to Templates. Hit A. And we're going to go to Templates. Down to Gamepad with Mouse Trackpad. This is a good base template. So basically what that is, is just all base, all standard gamepad controls with uh, the trackpad acting as a mouse. And that's that's it. That's really all it is. There's no gyro, nothing like that. Just a simple, simple control scheme. Uh, first of all, this this trackpad sensitivity is a little low for me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this up now. Keep in mind, this is all personal preference, so don't take my settings as gospel. Uh, feel it out for yourself and decide what works best for you. But for me, I like the trackpad to be higher sensitivity, and I found that 300 is the sweet spot for me, at least with this game. It might be different for other games, depending on how they read mouse inputs. Uh, and everything else, I like just how it is as, as the default, except for haptics, I like it on, on... No, you know what? I like it on low for the trackpad. And that's a lot better. All right. Next is the the you know the gyro. It's it's just as simple as the trackpad. We'll just go to edit layout. We'll go down to gyro. Gyro behavior as mouse. Uh, and then the sensitivity it defaults to one hundred. I think I like mine closer to about here one sixty. And. Well, let's take a look at the gyro settings real quick here and go back to the settings. Uh, right here, gyro enable button. I like to keep it at default to right stick or right pad touch, but you have a lot of options here. So you can press, you can make it so that the gyroscope is activated by any of these buttons or even uh, always on if that's your preference. And I like haptics on my gyro, so I'm going to put that on medium. And already, that's a, that's already a good config. It works great. I can easily manipulate the camera movements with the, both the gyroscope and my trackpad, or the stick if I wanted to. But I have a trackpad here. It's just, this is a lot more precise. I prefer this over a stick any day. Uh, but I did just notice that my melee attack sensitivity to click in the trackpad is it's way too sensitive for me. So I'm going to edit that real quick. Just go back to my trackpad settings. Go down to right trackpad behavior. See right trackpad click. It's basically emulating emulating the stick right stick click. And leave it on soft press. Go to settings. And I'm going to turn up the haptics to high. And the threshold, let's put it up to around 20,000. And already, that's a lot better. That's That feels great. Uh, next thing I'll do is edit the, the grip buttons on the back of the Steam Deck here. So edit layout, go to uh, buttons, and then down in buttons, go down to back grips l4 that's the top left grip button i'm gonna make that my reload button and so that's x on there r4 that's the top right button i'm gonna make that my jump button and l5 make that y and r5 i'm gonna make b you can make this whatever you want this is just my my quick preferences and now I can easily jump, aim, 
and shoot and reload without ever having to take my thumbs off of where they belong. Uh, one last thing. Uh, controllers, control, gamepad controls on this game limit you to cycling through all four of your weapons. Meanwhile, if you play with mouse and keyboard, you have the dedicated one through four buttons to switch to a, whichever weapon you want. And so that's what I'm going to use the left trackpad here for, which right now is just defaulted to. Handy things, maps. It's just defaulted to mimicking what the D-pad does. So let's go to edit layout, down to trackpads, and left trackpad behavior. We're going to change it from directional pad to a touch menu. Now, a radial menu is also a perfectly viable option. I just prefer touch menus. And we have, we can do up to 16 buttons on this touch menu. I'm gonna make this one four. Uh, so up here where I, where I set it as touch menu, let's go to the gear icon next to it. It defaults to two buttons. I'm gonna make that four right there. Touch menu activation style, click, and right here you can adjust what the, how, how the on-screen menu appears. I'm just gonna leave it by leave it to the default. I'm not gonna touch dead zones. I'm not gonna touch haptics. I'm just gonna leave it how it is, and you'll see right there. There's a there's a menu just waiting to be populated. I click it. Nothing. Noth it does nothing because there's nothing mapped to each button. So let's go back to the menu. Back to the touch menu settings here. And actually, first, let's look at uh, what what sort of options I can, what sort of keyboard keys I can map there. So we go to controls here, and go to keyboard, and you can you can right here you can just look at all the keys available to you. And so, if you want, you could you could potentially map uh, opening the map, the logs, inventory, skills, guardian rank, roster, all this stuff to a touch menu if you want easier access to those menu items but i'm just going to do one through four for for switching weapons back to track pads here and it's really simple just add command and go over to keyboard this is a weird bug where it keeps cycling back but whatever keyboard one for the first menu item three and four and now I have an easier way to switch through my weapons whichever ones I prefer and that's that's pretty much it that's that's a pretty decent config I can sh shoot at some baddies over here. However, I have to look over my camera here, which is makes it a little difficult to play. But this way it's just it's just much better for me than traditional gamepad controls and there's no need for aim assist in fact it disables the aim assist because the game thinks you're, you're using a regular mouse Let's see if I can get a headshot on this guy there we go. All right, I think that's that's. I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm gonna 
keep making more of these videos. There's so many different ways to set up gyro controls, like I said before. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments to see, uh, what other games you'd like to see me set up. I think I might go with uh, Counter-Strike next, though that one's going to be a lot more difficult for me because that's a game where I'm just I'm definitely better with mouse and keyboard, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do with that. All right. Thank you again. Bye.